Is he worth it? Is Tua Tagovailoa from the Miami Dolphins worth a possible $50 million a year to the Dolphins? That is the question that we're getting ready to talk about. Team, keep it clean. Of course, y'all know we cover the Baltimore Ravens on a daily, and that will not change. But we're going to start diving into some other topics around the NFL, and we're starting today off with Tua Tagovailoa. I'm looking forward to hearing y'all in the comments section. Now, um, Tua is in a very tricky spot right now with the Miami Dolphins because they're having contract disputes, a.k.a. negotiations, uh, however you want to look at it or whatever you want to call it. But right now they're going back and forth uh, and having discussions with his contract. But is Tua Tagovailoa, is he really a quarterback that you want to lock up for the next three, four, five years at a possible average of $50 million a year. Is Tua worth that? In my opinion, I would say no. I, I would say no. If I was a Dolphins fan, I would be very, very scared right now because Tua is not a bad quarterback by any means. He's not bad, but I just don't feel like the greatness is there. We've seen some nice moments from Tua, but at the same time, can Tua really elevate the team in the clutch? Can he really elevate the team and get them to where they need to go? Me, my opinion, and I know it doesn't mean much to many people, but I just don't see that in Tua. And I just don't feel like he would be worth all of that money per year. Now, from Tua's side, like, hey, fight for as much money as you could possibly get. The market is what the market is. So you can't go against that. So try to get your bread, try to get your money. I will never be mad at any player for trying to get their money because this is their job, this is their career, this is their income. So with Tua, and apparently the Dolphins, they offered him a deal, but Tua said no. He even missed some time away from the Dolphins this offseason, but today they, they had their OTAs and Tua is there. He is present. So that's good, but will he participate? Will he just be there just walking around smiling and whatnot? Or will he actually be an active participant uh, in their OTAs and whatnot? That's to be determined. But him showing up there is a big deal in the first place. But let's read the report that came from uh, Jeremy Fowler uh, because he was on Sports Center just yesterday. Because uh, this news came out over the weekend. said uh, that Tua had missed some OTA time. Uh, he confirmed and it really could depend on how negotiations go with his contract as to whether he starts to show up or is there full time. So we obviously see he started to show up. He showed up today. Will he be there full time on a consistent basis is to be determined. He also said they have had contract talks, preliminary, preliminary talks. I'm told that the Dolphins have made at least one contract offer, but we know how these things go. The offer apparently hasn't been good enough or he'd probably be there full time. So the market is pretty set. We saw Jared Goff get 50 plus million dollars a year. That's going to apply to Tua and Trevor Lawrence. So T-Law is up for a contract as well. So that's big. Again, $50 million a year. That ain't nothing to play with. That ain't nothing to play with. And I just, with the Miami Dolphins, that's why I say it's, it's such a tricky spot to be in. Because Tua, like, that's, that's the quarterback that you have on. That's obviously going to be your starter. And you have put some really, really nice pieces around him. You think about his supporting cast. Uh, just on offense alone, look at the wide receivers that he's throwing to. He's throwing to Tyreek Hill. The best, and if he's not the best wide receiver in the game, then he's definitely number two. But he's top two receiver in all of football. Like, all you got to literally put it out there. Put it out there as far as you can. Tyreek Hill going to go get it. Tyreek Hill can literally do everything. He can catch a short pass, take a two-yard pass, turn it into a 50-yard game. He can catch the deep ball. He, he, his deep ball tracking is amazing. He's just an amazing receiver. Then you got Jalen Waddle. And Jalen Waddle has had some injury concerns here and there, but he's still a really good young wide receiver. And now you just added a Super Bowl champion and somebody who could be a good contributor if – healthy hopefully he can be healthy I think there will be a lot less pressure on him in this system than it had been last year and that's Odell Beckham Jr. with Odell Beckham Jr. Um, he doesn't not that he doesn't have to be a leader with the Miami Dolphins but I feel like it's just it's just gonna be a lot less pressure on him in Miami than there was in Baltimore not that there was this crazy immense amount of pressure on him with the Baltimore Ravens but with the Miami Dolphins he can really like really really take a back seat because 
their wide receiver room is established. You look at Odell Beckham Jr. last year with the Baltimore Ravens. Their wide receiver room was not established when he got there because they had signed Nelson Aguilar, a new veteran that they added to the mix. They signed him. Then they ended up drafting Zay Flowers, who was a rookie. He was an excellent rookie. He did his thing, but he was a rookie. Then they had Rashad Bateman. There was a lot of question marks on him. Um, so they, they had Devin DuVernay, too. But he wasn't like a full-time wide receiver. So they had a lot of question marks at the wide receiver position when they brought Odell Beckham Jr. in. So that's why I feel like there was more pressure on Odell in Baltimore than there is in Miami now. They already got Tyreek Hill. He's already that dude. They already got Jalen Waddle. He's already that dude for them too. And they got some nice pieces there. They got Raheem Mostert at running back. They got, um, oh, who am I missing at running back? A chain. A chain. They got him at running back as well. But so they got nice pieces all around already. So they just added Odell Beckham Jr. to the mix, and he's more a bonus for the Miami Dolphins than he is a requirement like he was for the Baltimore Ravens. So, But anyway, with Tua, he's in such a great position. And if it was me, if I'm the Miami Dolphins, I'm not paying him yet. I'm riding this thing out. I'm riding this fifth-year option out. And, yeah, if it is a risk involved with that because if you ride it out, if you don't pay him now – Obviously, his price could possibly increase. It really could. His price could increase. But at the same time, I just don't feel like Tua is worth that $50 million, $50 million plus investment for the Miami Dolphins. Team Keep It Clean, let me know what y'all think. Would you sign Tua to a long-term extension, especially because it's going to be $50 million plus a year? Does he really elevate the Miami Dolphins like that is he like that for the Miami Dolphins to where you're going to pay him that much money or do you think the Dolphins should go in another direction sooner rather than later or do you think they should just wait it out with Tua see how he does this year and then decide from there make sure you subscribe to the channel turn notifications on so you do not miss not a single video or update and leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a ton I love y'all I appreciate y'all and like Tua maybe will or will not be we out